Hello, supercars in seconds here. Today we have the ultimate expression of luxury. Nothing's close. <laughs> and I'm deadly serious. This is a new Rolls Royce Phantom. This one has a finish on it called Crystal. And this black has this crystal clear coat added to it. Actually, let me go back to the great big C pillar back here, which is enormous. Look at this. Now look at that paint. I don't know if the light will catch it. Look at this. As I move around, it's just unbelievable how sparkly it is. But this particular car is a bespoke car from Rolls-Royce themselves, and it has an unbelievable specification. I will show you the sticker now shortly, but one of the packages is $83,000, and it is uh, beyond belief. Let's take a look. So the vehicle is running, so starting with rear view, mirror view. <laughs> it just looks, get out of my way. It's really that ultimate statement. I've said that before about Phantom. It is beyond belief. This particular car has $207,000 in options. I will get more into that, but you'll see things like um, the orange here, the body color centers and so on. It does have the metallic also on the, on the wheel centers. Then the Spirit of Ecstasy up here looks, I thought it was a, a black badge type look to it, but if I get up close, it's a carbon fiber Spirit of Ecstasy for $11,000 that I'd never seen before. So really a, a fun specification. So far as wheels and tires, we do have this beautiful Continental run flat tire, of course, a 285 section, so very wide. And again, this is the polished wheel, which is an expensive option also, but then adding that orange, which I'll, you'll see inside, the car has some orange accents inside and the hand painted stripe, of course, they're all done by hand. Um, really just a very impressive stuff. 285 section here, but 40 series tires and 255 up here. So a slightly split section just to give us lighter steering and more comfort uh, back on the rear. So let's climb inside with these beautiful split door handle, of course, rear coach door opening out. And then we have this one here. One fun thing as I step inside Phantom, I don't need to reach out now and close the door. I have two buttons under here, passenger door, driver's door. If I push and hold this, it closes the door for me. Very civilized. I wouldn't like to touch a door, you know. Camera system, simply incredible. Really an amazing 360 view, particularly at the front. A lot of 360 views struggle at the front. This one has an incredible view at the front. To get into the, that package, we'll uh, start showing you some of the crazy things like the orange leather just here. All right, so as I start to pan down the sticker, you can start to see there's that carbon fiber spirit of ecstasy. She's $10,775, uh, really very impressive. But way further down, you'll see this particular package over here is $83,448 and includes all of these items here. Now, those to show you rather than bore you to death with the sticker are things like this, where you have the carbon fiber plate on the volume control with the orange leather around the rotating dials. Same on the air conditioning controls, and all of the stalks on the back of the steering wheel. That's leather wrapped around the stalk. So really unusual and, and very, very unique. That picks up the other accents down inside the door pockets, the piping. The seat is actually gray. It's not black, it's actually gray uh, with the orange piping and accents in this. Of course, your famous umbrellas in the door posts and so on, as you'd expect and they'll position them in each car for where the owner will sit. In a, in a ghost, they're in the front doors because generally the owners will drive the car. In Phantom, they'll be in the rear because generally the owner will, will enjoy a ride in the rear of the car. So let's climb in and see what they face when they do that. Look at this thing. <laughs> About the softest headrest you'll see anywhere. I like the orange accents on this gray, actually. Let's have a look. Let's climb in. So that picnic table is down. You do that with these buttons on either side, little, little chrome buttons. So I'm gonna push this little button here and that will fold down our screen. Just very, very beautiful, I love it. Television in there, of course, that's controlled with a little button down here in the center console, you push on that. And then you've got the same controller that they have in, in the front of the car to control everything in the back. On this wood, I can see the reflections of the Starlight Headliner. It is very, very impressive. Up in the roof, I do have this uh, mirror, uh, you know, ready for each passenger to have a mirror in the back. 
and this magnificent chrome section to control the starlight headliner and how bright and dark the stars are. And of course they continue those orange accents into the rear of the car, again around the rotate, rotating dial there for the fan speed, down into the pockets piping, on, on the magazine pockets, etc. Really a detail just is simply never missed. Look at that central dashboard, isn't that beautiful? Amazing. So the Ghost has the door control to close that uh, coach door because it's so far out I can't reach it. So, but this one also has volume control uh, on either side for the for the passengers in the back. Again, I'll push and hold the button and close us in. When I lift up this little pouch here, I do have a, a smoking package if you wanted it as part of the options. Part of that fancy package also blacks out all of these little air conditioning vents and the organ stops throughout the car. This one does also have the Rolls-Royce bespoke audio as a 10 channel, 16 speaker audio system. And they're literally everywhere. These are normally a highly polished chrome. Part of this blackout package this one has includes tinting these lovely speaker grills throughout the car. So view of the controls there and out through the window, just very beautiful. You've got a little heads up display. I'm not sure you can see that, but you might be able to catch it. Um, and the, the carbon fiber spirit of ecstasy is just so cool. I thought, again, I thought it was black and it's carbon fiber. Very, very nice. I love this, these tower sort of images, like a sculpted, um, like levels of different materials inside all carbon fiber. And it's behind a piece of glass. Can you see the reflections there? So it's like set back a few inches. The screen here will go up and down and then it reveals more back behind there, more of this carbon fiber sort of lattice work. Modern Rolls-Royce keys are beautiful. So the Rolls-Royce logo, the silver one, like the back of the car has here, matches of course, locks the car. The little triangle, can you see that? Like a triangle unlocks the car. And the square uh, is the trunk. On the rear of the key is the uh, Chivaro leather that's throughout the car, the gray leather that's throughout the car. So that's a nice touch on the back of the key. So let's push the little square here and that'll pop open. Look at the size of this trunk. It's absolutely nuts completely enormous some extra rolls-royce tags and so on for the front not quite a low step actually as well so a nice access to it for your uh, uh two hundred thousand dollars you spent shopping today <laughs> something incredible here i am coming to you here from the reflection in the door the paint is so good on this car this is the reflection in the door look at my watch look at my my the veins in my hand that's reflecting in the door of the car just absolutely nuts. It does take five days to paint a Rolls Royce. Absolutely incredible. So to create this matte finish on the hood compared to the super glossy paint here, they use a silicate based clear coat here and a water based clear coat here. The silicate based is still shiny, but it looks like a crystal under a microscope. So our eyes don't see the reflection. Pretty fascinating stuff. It is still metallic, you can see that, but obviously not as shiny as this. So, powertrain in this monster. Let's take a look underneath this beautiful hood. Look at that. <laughs> it says Phantom, hand built in Goodwood, England. Even that has a slightly matte finish, you know, to, to match all of the accents on this particular car big strut brace across these enormous suspension struts 26 inches high and they fill that entire put my fingers there for perspective but it fills that entire area a huge air strut to control this magnificent magic carpet ride should say the size on the front here 6.75 liter v12 twin turbo so she's producing 563 horsepower but 664 pounds of torque that runs through an eight-speed transmission and that has, the vehicle also has four-wheel steering. So even though she's 227 inches long, which is <laughs> just enormous, that puts it three feet longer than most sort of uh, big sedans. It is a, a massive car that simply doesn't fit in a conventional garage. So again, 227 inches full length, but a 140 inch wheelbase. A lot like a McLaren 570S is 179 inches long. This wheelbase is 140. So it really is a massive car. It's hard to get the, the scale right, but I'll put now, I'll put the car next to a Mini Cooper to give you some scale.
So here's the four-door Mini Cooper lined up with the back of Phantom. So you can see the roof above. <laughs> but look at this, this is really funny. Look how much more car there is. So that's the hood coming down. Look at the Phantom. This, the windshield's level with the back window of the car. It's absolutely enormous. All right, so let's take her down into old Batman's corner. Seems kind of strange for a huge limousine to be doing that, but we have to do that on every car. I can't help myself. All right, so we're just over four seconds to 60. Oof, impressive. I'll show you the speedometer now in a moment. Really, really cool. A little bit of body roll as you'd expect, but amazingly smooth. Again, it doesn't feel like it has a transmission, I suppose is the best way I can convey it. Let's try out these great big brakes. Again, 16 inches on the front and almost 15 on the rear. Let's try them out here. Ooh. Boy, you can feel the weight, but it does stop very well. But you really can feel that heavy weight. So let's give her a flat out run here. What do you watch this thing go? It's really very, very impressive. Look at it go. Unbelievable. So we're going to pull away here in Phantom. The transmission is very strange almost like a i don't know if you've driven a tesla car obviously no transmission this feels like it has no transmission <laughs> you just simply are imperceptible gear changes the experience of driving phantom is different than frankly any other car on the road um because she's so tall and so enormous when i look in that rear view mirror the rear window looks about 30 feet away <laughs> it is uh a serenity and a comfort, a level of luxury that's just off the charts. I suppose if you way to compare it would be a first class seat on an aeroplane compared to a brand new fabulous executive jet. You know, it's there's another level after the what you think might be the best. It is a, an experience not to be missed. Okay, the only thing that's kind of like a sport package is the low button. I've got that pushed on and it just it just delays the, the transmission changes a little bit. Um, doesn't turn it into a supercar, but it does make it very responsive. Let's, let's just hit it here. Oh, the nose just lifts. I mean, it goes up six inches, not a little bit. It goes woof into our little right hand. Let's see how it does here. Going quite fast. Oh. <laughs> More body roll than I'm used to, but of course at 5,700 pounds you might expect that. And the way that she's set up is not designed for the, an idiot like me. Designed to have, to cosset the, the owner and the, and the passengers and just make them feel special. And the, no car in the world makes you feel as special as a Phantom in, in the luxury world. You can imagine taking this to your sort of 300 foot yacht sitting somewhere and give the key to the to your to your man and uh, off you set it really is a lifestyle accessory at the highest level there's no way to describe to you the luxury that I'm feeling in this car the seat I can't tell you where this teaches where this seat is touching me that's weird I can feel my my where I am touching it but I couldn't say oh I can feel it there I literally can't feel where the seat is touching me it's uh, an amazing experience so a fun Rolls-Royce-ism is the scale, the, sh the shape. So if you draw a car, picture of a car, you give it a long hood with one wheel at the front, two doors, then a very, very big C pillar with the wheel right below it and a long trunk. It looks like a Rolls-Royce. That signature is the wheel being underneath that huge C pillar. One fun thing, of course, as I'm looking into the car, the headrest, the headrest is right there. So the headrest is there not here so your head is back behind there and in here there's little mirrors on the inside just for you to check your hair and check that you look okay before you climb out because i assure you when you get somewhere in this car it's a true arrival i can't get over this carbon fiber spirit of ecstasy let's let's have a look at it up close again look at that you can see the like the weave and the grain in the carbon just super cool well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you'd love you to subscribe to the channel, 
Uh, this is my 81st video, so we're starting to get some good videos coming out. Lots of cool things we've done in the past, so go back through our catalogue and see if you might find something else you like. I appreciate you watching. This is the beautiful car. I've really enjoyed it. I think I've got the key. I think I might take it out one more time. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.